Hi guys, welcome back to Archeonics channel. So today let's see how to replace these two mirrors and uh, replace it with Domnar 400 mirrors. So without wasting much time, let's get started. First, let's remove the right side mirror. To remove it, just twitch it in the clockwise direction. So the right side mirror is out. You can see this is the mount that we use to uh, install the stock mirrors and this mount will not be suitable for Domino 400 UGS mirrors. So in order to replace this mount, we need to purchase this from Bajaj and I'll be leaving the part number in the description below with this video. Now in order to replace this stock yoke with the Domino 400 one, just unbolt these two 8mm bolts and remove the yoke out and replace it with the Domino one. So here I'm using a 8mm socket with a ratchet to make the work easy. While installing this Domino 400 yoke, ensure that the surface which has a flat side will be facing the left side of your bike. So now let's install this yoke. Now to finally mount this Domino 400 mirrors, we need a 6 number allen bolt and let's install using a 6 number allen key. This is how the right side of the bike looks after mounting the Domino 400 mirror. So as you can see when compared to the stock mirror, this mirror looks more premium and has a better visibility compared to the stock one. Now the same way, the left side also doesn't go a direct fit. So you need to replace this entire clutch yoke with the Domino 400 one. And this is how it looks like. I'll leave the part number for this yoke too in the description below of this video. Now the replacing the right side mirror was pretty easy. And now when it comes to the left side, to remove this yoke, we need to first remove the bar and weight followed by the gripper with the switch control and also remove the clutch along with the clutch sensor in order to get access to this yoke. So let's see how to do it. Now to remove the bar and weights, I'm using a fine number allen key. as the gripper will be like pretty much tight use a small screwdriver or a rod to just make some way inside the gripper so that the gripper can come out since i'm using a rs200 switch mounts I'll be having two screws, one here inside this one and also on the front side, one here. So we'll unboard these two screws to remove this control switch. switch control aside now let's remove the mirrors the same way just to move in the anti-clockwise direction now. now as i said earlier you have a clutch sensor switch here so in order to remove this switch just unscrew these two screws and that switch will be right out Now 
with the help of a 8 mm socket remove this bolt also now with the help of a screwdriver unscrew this screw Let's move this rubber boot aside. Now just gently take out the clutch lever and disconnect from the clutch wire. Now in order to remove this clutch wire out, you need to align a cut which is there in this bolt as well as the adjuster nut and then gently take out this wire. Let's remove the clutch cable. Now let's remove this adjuster nut also. So this is the adjuster nut and to remove the cable out you have to align these two cutouts wherein the cable will slide out of it. Now finally we have the last 10mm bolt after removing which the entire clutch yoke will be sliding out of it. This is a stock yoke and this is a new Buzzard Dominar's yoke. So let's install this one in NS200. So the installation process is the right opposite of the removal one. And I'm going to install this and put all the other components back and I'm going to fast forward this process.
So after installing all the components back, now let's install the Domino 400 meter. So this is how the bike looks after installing the Domino 400 meters.